My neighbor's dog is back. Why you do this? Why you only decide to bark now when I'm filming this video though? Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new, hello. My name is Carla. I post videos every Wednesday and I would love for you to subscribe and be part of the Nugget family. If you don't want to, that's fine. No pressure. Thank you anyway for watching. I've got a favorites video for you guys today. I haven't done a favorites video in a very long time. I've got a bunch of amazing things to share with you guys. So if you want to see all of the things that I have been loving, then please keep watching. Okay, let's get started with some makeup. Now, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you'll know that I got my eyebrows retouched over at the Eyebrowdery in Green Hills, and the Eyebrowdery is a solid favorite of mine. I cannot recommend them enough. Clarice is magnificent. If you have been struggling with short, thin, or sparse eyebrows, I highly suggest you check them out. I am not wearing any makeup on my eyebrows today. I haven't been since I got them retouched. It has cut my makeup routine in half. I am more confident now. I'm obsessed with how my eyebrows look. Thank you so much to Clarice and to the Eyebrowdery. I will leave them linked down below in the description box for you guys. I also got my eyelashes keratin lifted and tinted. It's been over a month and I have so many eyelashes that are still really curly. I'm not wearing any mascara today. I did not curl them. They're just going strong. The Eyebrowdery, man, they're just so, so good. Anyway, back to makeup. My first makeup favorite is actually something that I've owned for a while now but just started using again. This is the Fenty Beauty Matched in the shade Mocha. This is the perfect cream contour in my opinion. It's so pigmented, really easy to blend. I love using it. It lasts all day and it just looks very natural. I don't put makeup on every day, but when I do, this is what I reach for. I use this with my Tarte. I'm not too sure what the official name of this brush is, but I'll put a line on my cheekbone and then I'll just use my Tarte brush to blend it out. I also put some on my temples, on my jawline, and on my chin and down my neck. These two together are just the contour combo of dreams. I've also been using the BLK concealer in the shade Honey. It's just an overall really good concealer and I'm genuinely impressed with BLK. I think that they have such amazing products, great value for money. I've been really happy with all of the different things that I've been using. It's great for under the eyes, great for hiding pimples, blemishes, or like acne scars. It's the perfect match for me. It blends like a dream and it doesn't cake. Speaking of local brands that I'm obsessed with, Generation Happy Skin Acne Love Your Lips Intense Color Butter Balm with SPF 15. These lip balms are just ridiculous. It's basically like a lipstick. It's super moisturizing. It's got a nice minty flavor and that minty tingly feeling on your lips. It's got SPF. The colors are amazing. I am obsessed with this shade in particular. It's called Powerful. It's just this really nice brown shade. Very hydrating, easy to wear, easy to use. This is always in my bag. I literally had to take it out of my bag just for this video. Video. And the last makeup products that I've been loving are from Nude Sticks. These were sent to me by Sephora Philippines. I've really been into cream makeup lately. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the heat or I've just been really lazy. And these two have become solid staples in my makeup bag. The first one is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Blush Color in the shade Sunset Strip. It's just this gorgeous coral pink shade. It looks very natural. It's very subtle. I love it on the cheeks. What I like to do is I just like to swipe on a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and then I also blend it out with my Tarte brush. It just gives a very natural flush which I love because it makes me look healthy because you know, who this bond paper. And then this is the Nude Sticks Nudies Matte All Over Bronze color in the shade Sunkiss. Now I know what you're thinking. Carla. You already used the Fenty one so why are you using this? Well, my friends, when I want a more cool toned, chiseled contour look, I'll reach for the Fenty Matte Stick. But when I want a bronzy, warm, glow to my skin, I'll reach for my Nude Sticks one. I love the packaging. On the other end, they actually have brushes too. So basically you have a two-in-one product. Moving on to skincare, I've been loving the Pond's Mineral Clay Masks. If you guys follow me on Instagram again, you'll know that I'm currently working with Pond's. I can tell you guys right now, 100%, totally honest, I've really been loving these two, happily been using them. Whenever I feel like my skin needs a good clean, I will reach for the Detox one because it's got charcoal in it. And then on the days where I feel like my skin's looking a little 
dull. I will reach for the brightening pink one. My skin has been loving these masks. I'm obsessed with them and I feel like for the price, you are getting a really good product. This was also sent to me by Sephora Philippines. I've never heard of this brand before. I never heard of this product before, but ever since I got it, I've been using it nonstop. Kopari Starry Eye Balm. Now this is infused with caffeine, so it's supposed to help depuff your eyes and lighten the dark circles under your eyes. So I love to use this in the morning. It really is an eye balm. It's so strange. I'm so used to using eye creams. It's very thin, it's very hydrating, it's very moisturizing, and I love using this in the morning. It's not totally canceling out my dark circles because those babies are gonna stay forever, but it is very refreshing and I do love to use this in the morning. I am obsessed with SPF. If there's one thing you should never skip in your skincare routine, it's putting on SPF. I was using the Bella Gel sunscreen for the longest time and then I used the Koji one as well and now I've been using this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 40 Water and Sweat Resistant. This is amazing. If you have an oily T-zone like I do, this mattifies your skin, my friends. Super Goop is known for their SPFs and I can clearly see why. It smells really, really good. It does not smell like SPF, which I love. It's very light on the skin. It has absolutely no flashback in pictures. It's a great primer as well for under makeup. I use it every single day. This is also available on Sephora Philippines, but I actually bought this with my own money. I wanted to give it a try and now I'm obsessed with it. I think I found my new Holy Grail SPF. I will continue to repurchase this. They also make like this SPF setting powder. It's in this brush packaging and you're supposed to like apply it like all throughout the day and the powder itself has SPF. It looks really cool. I might try that next. Moving on to hair care. I'm not going to talk about these too long because I've already spoken about them in my how to curl short hair with a flat iron video. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it up here for you. These two products, obsessed love them. The first one is the Olaplex number no. 6 Bond Smoother. This is the perfect leave-on conditioner. I love to use this right after I take a bath, like when my hair is still damp. I'll run this all throughout my hair. It has this really nice citrusy smell and it just leaves my hair feeling soft and really, really silky. I've also been loving the Whey Finishing Cream. I love using this when I style my hair. So like after I curl my hair, I'll put some of this on. It just really helps manage the frizz. It tames all the baby hairs. And whenever I want a really nice, sleek, parting for my hair. I will put some of this on. It smells amazing. Whey products just smell super, super good. Last up, we've got fashion favorites. I've really been having a moment with chunky, gigantic clips and with headbands. There's just something about headbands that make me feel like a kid again. This is actually the headband that started it all for me. I saw a couple of girls on Instagram sporting this black velvet padded headband that actually a lot of members of the royal family like to wear and I was like, oh my gosh, I need myself a headband like that. This headband band is from a wonderful shop on Instagram called frost.ph. It's owned by a lovely lady named Audrey. Hi Audrey if you're watching. Audrey Han makes a lot of her headbands. I've been wearing this one non-stop and she also sent me this single band pearl headband which I think is very girly. It's very simple. It would look really good with any outfit. I just love how classy and expensive it looks. And she also sent me this one which is in this gorgeous olive green velvet material and then it's just got pearls dotted all over it. Very well made. I've also got these headbands from Hello Wilhelmina. You guys already know I love Hello Wilhelmina. It's owned by Jekka. Hey Jekka! Jekka noticed that aside from chunky clips, I was starting to have a real moment with headbands. So not only did she send me more clips, but she also sent me these gorgeous cloth headbands. Olive green checkered one, an old rose one, and a khaki one. Very cute, very easy to wear, and they just help spice up an outfit. These ones are a lot more casual than the Frost ones, so if you're looking for like more casual headbands, you can check out Hello Wilhelmina. And if you want like dressier statement ones, you should definitely check out Frost. I've got enough headbands now to last me a lifetime. I'm gonna be wearing headbands till I'm 80 years old. Uniqlo socks. I don't know what took me so long to start shopping for socks at Uniqlo. I love Uniqlo. These are men's socks. These are the four new colors that I recently bought in Rockwell in my chest of drawers back there. I have a bunch of white ones, black ones, and gray ones as well. Super comfortable. They're nice and thick. Very, very soft. They wash well and they're actually quite high. So if you're like me and you like wearing sneakers with your jeans and then you just want your socks to show a little bit, the Uniqlo
Uniqlo socks are the perfect length. I really like them and yeah, I'm obsessed with Uniqlo socks now. I'm like 40 years old. And to go with my Uniqlo socks, I've also been obsessed with my Nike Air Force Ones. These are the plain white ones. I have been wanting Air Force Ones for a really long time and I could not find them anywhere here in Manila. They never had my size. It was always out of stock. So these are actually from my dad. My dad got these for me in Malaysia. He was so cute. He like went to a store and started sending me pictures of the different kinds of white sneakers and the different white Nikes. And then he was like, these are the Air Force Ones for women. These are the ones for kids. And these are the ones for men. Which ones do you want? So I ended up getting the Air Force Ones for women and I got them in my size. These are a US 7.5. They are just the comfiest white sneakers. They look so good with jeans. I've even worn these with dresses. I love a good white sneaker. And I just think that it's so cute when I wear these and then like my socks are just peeping through. Thanks, Dad. I love these. If you've been thinking about getting Air Force Ones, get them. They're so worth it. And my last fashion favorite, I actually get a lot of questions from you guys whenever I post pictures or Instagram stories wearing these. Crop cotton t-shirts from Topshop. So I've got the black one and I've got the white one as well. What I love about these crop tops is they're really, really soft. They're made of a really good jersey cotton and it's just in this really nice ribbed material which I think is super flattering. The length is really good and the sleeve length as well is very flattering because I've got flabby arms. I like that this cuts right where the flab is so it hides it a bit and I also like that the front has this little V. I think that it's super flattering. I love these shirts. I wear them with high-waisted jeans, with short skirts. I wear them all the time. They're washed like every single week and they're still really soft. They haven't broken or stretched or shrunk so I'm very happy about them. And there you guys have it, my current favorites. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and leave me a comment down below of any current favorites of yours. Food, shows, movies, music. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye!